to squeeze Sa'd. But if there was anybody that he will not squeeze, it is Sa'd ibn Mu'az radiallahu anhu. And this is why Usman, when he would go past the grave, he would cry, he would stand by the grave and he would cry because he would say, this is the first stage. If you pass this, you pass the rest. And if you fail here, then there is nobody to help you. And we get, we get deluded, really, all of us, we get deluded by our surroundings. We believe that we're never gonna die. And the Sahaba had reached the stage, like Mu'adh ibn Jabal, the Prophet asked him, كيف أصبحت يا Mu'adh? How have you encountered this morning, O Mu'adh? And Mu'adh radiallahu anhu said, مؤمنًا حقًا, as a true believer. And the Prophet said, لكل قول حقيقة, for every statement there is a dalil, a reality. What is, why do you believe that you are a true believer? And he said, because, he said, because there has never been a morning that I have encountered believing that I will reach the evening. And never been an evening that I believed that I will live to the morning. And then he said something really exemplifies the iman of these people. He said, I have never taken a step believing that I will take the second. This was the reality of iman in these people's hearts. And the Prophet ﷺ said that when a person dies, then you will be in your grave. And then Israfil will blow the trumpet. Everybody will come. And you know what that day was? I know some Mawlana spoke about the day of judgment. I don't know what he spoke about. So if it's repetitive, excuse me. But I want to more dwell on the lessons we can derive rather than telling you stories. Because we all love stories. Especially if we don't have to do anything after them. Makes us feel good. And the Prophet ﷺ said that on that day, people on the day of judgment, the sun will be at the distance of a mile. The floor will be made out of steel. And people will be drowning in their own sweat according to their evil actions. Some will be up to their ankles, some to their knees, some to their hips, some to their necks, and some will be drowning in their own sweat, totally drowned in their own sweat. Can you imagine the sun at a mile's distance and everybody will be naked on that day, but nobody will have time to look at the body of anybody else. Nobody. And the Prophet ﷺ said that a person, when you, now you look at we become independent and we think we are something special. But the Prophet ﷺ said, when man will be bought in front of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, he will be like a buzzard. Do you know what a buzzard is? Have you ever seen a calf when it's born and it tries to stand up and it falls down again? And then it stands up and it falls down again. The Prophet ﷺ said, when man will come in front of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala on the day of judgment, to give account for his actions. He will be like a buzzard. His legs won't be able to hold him. He will try to stand and he will drop. And then he will stand again and he will drop. And he will start like a little calf. And he will do this. And he will do it again and again. And really look how often we delude ourselves. Believing that we are something special. But on that day every man will know. How special he is. The biggest gangsters, the biggest drug dealers, the biggest macho men, the bouncers will know their reality. Their reality. They will know. Or oh, man, when he will see his actions on the day of judgment, the Prophet ﷺ, his evil actions, he will cry. He will cry until his tears dry up. Tears dry up. And he will have no tears left. And then the Prophet ﷺ said, he will still cry, but he will cry tears of blood. When he will see the reality, and this is why the Prophet ﷺ defined it as what? Yawmul Hasra, a day where man will have remorse. He will have remorse. Why didn't I spend my life in the worship of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala? And that will be the final day. You will go Jannah and you will go to Jannah. And then death will never befall a person after that day. 
death will be finished. Allah will bring death in the form of a sheep, a black sheep. And the people who have gone into Jannah will be in Jannah. And the people who are going into Jahannam, and they will go into Jah Jahannam. And then this is death. The black sheep is death. And Allah will have the black sheep slaughtered. Meaning death has been slaughtered. After today there is no death. And then the Prophet sallallahu alayhi and then Allah will call out to the people of Jannah and he will say, Ya Ahlul Jannah, Hulud, Falam Out. He will say, O oh people of Jannah, eternity, that's eternity, you will go into Jannah and then he will turn to the people of Jahannam. And can you imagine that day? May Allah make us all from the people of Jannah. He will turn to the people of Jahannam. And he will say, oh people of Jahannam, eternity, his death, death has been finished. And then Allah will call Jibreel alayhi salatu wasalam, and he will ask Jibreel, he said, who is still alive? And he will give the name of him, Mikail Israfil, and a Hamlatul Arsh, and he will say, oh you Allah, but no death falls upon you. And Israel, Malik al Maut, and Malik al Maut, according to some narrations, will take the life of Jibra'il and Mikail, And then Allah will call Israel the angel of death. And he will ask him who is left now. And he will say Israfil and Hamlatul Arsh and you Allah. But death doesn't befall upon you. And Allah will say, take the life of Israfil. And the life of Israfil will be taken. And then Allah will call him again. And he will say who is alive. And he will say, those angels who are carrying the throne of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, Hamlatul Arsh, and Allah will say, take them as well. And then it will only be Allah and Israel, the angel of death. And then Allah will give him death as well. Until there will be only Allah. Every single thing will have tasted death. Every single thing will have tasted death. And then Allah will call out, and I'll do it on my own world. Allah will call out and He will say, Where are all? He said, Who? For who is dominion today? Who is the master today? Who is the king? Who is the ruler? And Allah will say, Where are, in my own words, Allah will say, Where are all the bad boys? Where are they today? Where are those who thought they were special because they had a BMW? Where are those who were thought they were special because they had a piece or they were drug dealers or they spent a few hours in the gym and they thought they were something special? Allah will ask. Allah will ask, where are all the tyrants? Jababira. Where are all the dhalims who did zulam on their wives? Who did zulam on other people? Who ate the wealth of yatims, who had no consideration for their neighbor? Allah will ask, where are they? Who is kingdom for today? And that day, kingdom will be solely for Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Solely for Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. But on the day of judgment, when the sun is at a distance, when the floor is made out of steel, when people will be drowning in their own sweat, there will be these youngsters, these youngsters who will be under the arsh of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, who will be under the shade of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. The Prophet sallallahu said, out of those seven young people who will be under the shade of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is a shab nasha'a fi ibadatillah. A young boy, a young man, who grew up in the worship of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. He saw his friends loafing around. He saw his friends whining, dining, womanizing. But he feared Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And he did not follow these people. He followed the commands of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And this is a real man. A real man is not that person who falls, follows society. A real man is he who can hold his own. When he sees the drug dealers, 
Easy money.